I have heard a few people say that people who have the genotype AA suffer malaria disease more than people who have the other types of genotype. Now, genotype is the gene we inherited from our parents. There are different kinds of genotype. We have the genotype AA, the AS, SS. We even have SC and AC. AA, AS and SS are the most common type of genotype. Why AC and SC are not so common? So if you want to know the reason why people who have the genotype AA suffer malaria disease more than the people who have this other type of genotype, Ensure you watch this video to the end. Hello everyone. Welcome to this edition of Body Gist. I am Sister Ozo Augusta, a sister of Senbi. I am also a nurse and a midwife. This is me saying thank you to all our returning subscribers. Ensure you click on the subscribe button, turn on your notification so that you always get notified anytime we upload new videos. You can as well follow us on all our other platforms. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Do not go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Today is the 25th day in the month of April. And on every 25th of April, universally in the whole world, we celebrate the World Malaria Day. And on this day, we want to look at the reason why people who have the genotype AA suffer malaria disease more than people who have the other types of genotype. Now, malaria is a parasite that is being transmitted by mosquito. When mosquito bites an individual, if mosquito bites an infected individual, it sucks their blood and is transmitted to another person when the person gets the bite from the mosquito who has been infected. People who have the genotype AA are, are considered to have the normal type of genotype. And the red cells are usually round and flexible. They move freely within the blood cells. But people who have the genotype AS or SS, people who have the genotype SS is said to have a sickled type of genotype. This type of genotype does not allow the red cells to move freely because their red cells are already sickled and they stick together hence they do not carry oxygen and they do not supply oxygen and nutrients to the whole part of the body it is believed that the malaria parasite needs a medium that has a high oxygen content so people who have the genotype aa their red blood cells support the growth and replication of this malaria parasite and because they have the double gene of AA and this gene supports has enough oxygen content that supports the replication and duplication of malaria parasite. It is believed that malaria, paras malaria parasite thrives better in people who have the genotype AA. People who have the genotype AS are believed to, to be a carrier of the sickle cell or having a sickle cell trait. Now, the sickle cell, the sickle red blood cell does not, uh, does not flow freely within their blood vessels and they have a reduction in the oxygen carrying capacity in the red blood of the red blood cell so they do not permit the replication and duplication and multiplication of this malaria parasite within the red cells and because they have they, one of their gene is already sickled though they have the a the s part does not allow the replication of this malaria parasite so that is why they are not so susceptible to coming down with malaria disease as people who have the genotype AA. The reason why people who have the AS genotype do not suffer malaria as such is that when malaria parasite enters the body, it enters the red cell, due to the sickled nature of the AS, you know, remember that the AS, people who have the AS, AS genotype have two genes. The S part is already sickled, so it has low affinity for red blood, it has re re de decreased red blood cell level. So it does not allow malaria parasites to thrive. And if malaria parasites do not thrive, the rate of their growth is reduced and it is destroyed. And if it is destroyed, it is expelled from the body. So this is the reason why people who have the AS gene do not suffer malaria disease as people who have the AA gene or the AA genotype. It would have been a very good news to say that people who have the SS genotype, that is the sickle cell disease itself, 
are supposed to be free from malaria. That would have been the case. But being sickle cell, having a sickle cell disease places one more at risk of having malaria. This is because sickle cell disease on its own affects the immune function of the body. It affects the spleen of the body that helps to pro protect the individual from coming down with infections. People who have the SS genotype are more at risk of coming down with malaria. This is because sickle cell disease itself places them at risk of having malaria because there is already an impairment in their immune function. This is because sickle cell disease causes a dysfunctional spleen and the spleen is one of the organs in the body that helps in protecting against infection and invading diseases. In this video, we have said that people who have the genotype AA have two copies of the gene, normal gene, gene that is rich in red blood cell, and this gene supports the growth, the duplication, and the replication of malaria parasites. So an individual who is being bitten by an infected malaria and who has the AA genotype comes down with malaria parasite because it's the genes, the two copies of his genes support the growth and replication of malaria parasites. People who have the genotype AS have one copy of a sickle gene and a normal gene. This, this sickle gene does not support the growth and multiplication of malaria parasite. So it destroys the malaria parasite if it, get, if it comes in contact with it. It allows the red blood cell to destroy it and eliminate it from the body. And that is why they are not so prone to coming down with malaria parasites. Individuals with SS genotype have two copies of a sickle gene. This would have been the best type of gene or the best type of genotype to destroy malaria parasite because malaria parasites do not thrive in sickled red blood cell. But because these persons have sickle cell disease, sickle cell disease on its own places them at risk and has, makes them have complications from diseases. It's because it causes, it causes destructions of the organs that would have helped to protect them from infections. Anyone who has a sickle cell, any anyone who is who has a sickle cell genotype is having a sickle cell disease. Why anyone who has AS genotype is having the sickle cell trait? The AS genotype, people who have the AS genotype are carriers of a sickle cell, but people who have the SS genotype are already having the sickle cell disease, which places them at risk of coming down with different kinds of infection because of the multiple organ dysfunction that they come down with. We have shared with you reasons why people with AA genotype come down with malaria disease more than people who have the AS genotype. And why people who have the SS genotype are even more susceptible to malaria disease than people who have AS genotype and AA genotype. If you know that you have found this video beneficial, ensure you give us a thumbs up, share this video with your loved ones. Do not forget that it is still April 25th and it is World Malaria Day. This is me saying thank you to you for watching this video to the end. I am Sister Ozo Augusta. Keep following us on Body Gist, while we keep giving you healthy gist.